In this section, we're going to talk about how to summarize individual variables. In this section, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by talking about some of the reasons why you would want to summarize individual variables. After that, we're going to talk about how you obtain frequencies and how you get different summary statistics. From there, we'll talk about different data distributions and how these affect the kind of analyses that you can do. And finally, we're going to create some graphs so that you get an idea of how to visualize your data. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the reasons why you would want to summarize your individual variables. In this video, we're specifically going to look at why you would want to summarize individual variables. And some of these reasons are that individual variables can answer important questions. They can also help establish base rates. Looking at individual variables will allow you to check your data for incorrect or unusual values. You'll also be able to determine if some subgroups should be combined by looking at your individual variables. And finally, the results of individual variables are really going to provide the basis for more complex analyses. There are several reasons why you want to summarize individual variables. The first reason is that summarizing individual variables can allow you to answer important questions. For example, you may have a question on a survey that is something like, how satisfied are you with this product? So the answer to that question is going to be important because it would be important to know if 90% of our customers are satisfied with that product or maybe only 50% of our customers are satisfied with that product, in which case, as a company, we would be in bad shape. So that's the first reason why you want to summarize individual variables. They can answer really important questions. A second reason why you want to summarize individual variables is because you want to establish base rates. For example, let's just say that 70% of our customers are satisfied with our product. Okay, let's say we then added a new feature to that product. And after some time, we again assess our customers. Let's say now our customers are satisfied 80%. Well, we can see that there was a 10% increase then in that satisfaction rate. So knowing what the base rate is, is important before you then make additional changes and see how those changes end up affecting your, uh, your situation. Another reason why you would want to summarize individual variables is because you want to check your data to see if your data is accurate. For example, we may be doing health research and we want to make sure that all of our patients that we're seeing are diabetic. Well, if you see that the glucose levels are much higher or lower than what we're expecting for our population, then maybe some of those people don't qualify for that study. Or maybe there was just an error in the data in terms of how that data was entered. So again, it's important to summarize your individual variables so that you can check the accuracy of your data. The more accurate your data is, the more you can trust your results. Another reason why you would want to summarize individual variables is that sometimes you may have to combine groups. For example, you may have, uh, again, a satisfaction question. And let's say you have five levels of satisfaction from strongly satisfied or very satisfied to not at all satisfied. Well, we may have five levels, but in the end, it really might be that it, it really should have been a dichotomous variable. So we might want to group some of those categories together so that we have enough cases in each one of those different categories so that we could do appropriate analyses. Another example might be you might have a marital status question. You might want to be comparing different marital status groups. Let's say, for example, people that are married, people that are single, people that, have, that are divorced, widowed, or separated. So let's say we have those five categories. Well, once you take a look at the numbers in those categories, if you see that in your data set you only have a few people, maybe 1% of your sample is divorced, or maybe 1% of your sample is widowed and something like that, you may want to combine some of those groups, let's say the widowed with uh, separated and the divorced group and maybe even the married group. Uh, you can create a category that might be people that have been married at one point compared to people that have never been married, for example. And finally, another reason why you would summarize your individual variables is because individual variables are really going to provide the basis for more complex analyses. So in this course, we're going to talk about summarizing your individual variables, and you'll see that you'll get things like means and standard deviations and so forth. But those means and standard deviations, they really provide the basis for more complex analyses like regression, like t-tests, for example, and things like that. So knowing what those individual variables look like can tell us some information before we have ever even end up doing these more complex analyses like we might have for example a lot of variation in our data so therefore it might be hard to find significant differences among groups.